you know, YouTube has a different set of standards for certain YouTubers for certain videos on their site. I had went to the Huffington Post and I came across a video where they said they had new footage of Muammar Gaddafi. You know, why he was dead, how the people was praying his body around, taking pictures and throwing other peace signs and stuff. So I clicked on it and I noticed it was in Arabic. And you'd be surprised what kind of graphic videos that are on YouTube. Now, I find it funny that just me, as a black man, speaking about the ills of the world, the ills within our community, can get a, videos can get flagged down, multiple channels can get flagged down. But people show our women in the most de degrading things. People can openly say they want to kill us on a site. People can call us racial slurs. These people channels are still up. Even when you report these channels to YouTube, they stay up. So one had to say, say that YouTube has a agenda, like most media outlets now. That corp, you know, when YouTube was founded by those two guys, everybody's putting their videos. They had guidelines, but most part, everybody's putting their videos. It wasn't until Google bought it that people went in overdrive. And people have a sense of freedom now that they probably didn't have before. That they can put videos up attacking us, mocking us, lying on us, passing misinformation. But the moment I or any other black person, but usually black men, whether you agree with them or not, put videos up, they get flagged. They get taken down. And the sad part is it's not just that they're racist or racial opportunists. they are men and women who look just like you and I, live in our own communities experience the dis discrimination that we just experience every day but because we've been conditioned conditioned to attack each other we think it's cool and a lot of these brothers and sisters out here that have done the attacking have come to various YouTube channels they had to come under attack and I don't feel sorry for them this evening I had got a um, comment from a YouTuber that's having an issue with Tommy Sotomayor now, I don't know how many times I got to say it. I didn't take tummy side or that sister side. Now, I've mentioned this in multiple videos because over the last week, I've gotten people, but more so this weekend, criticizing me because they saying I need to take a side or I've taken a side because I haven't called out tummy. And I sat there and I said I wasn't going to get into this because when I was coming on attack and I had proof that I was coming on attack, these very same people either joined in the attacks or or said nothing, or just played neutral. And I can't get mad at you for not, you know, saying anything, but a lot of you was going back talking with me with white YouTubers. I told y'all that that was going to happen again, and what's going on now? I sat there and said that some of the people out here are black women that have a twisted mindset, a victim mentality, but yet I put those videos out, People want to get mad at me and say that I'm somehow an Uncle Tom and don't even know the real mean Uncle Tom is. Got the wrong definition, using the wrong term. Then you got black men out here who was once putting out videos calling out the hypocrisies in our community, outside the community. But once they came under attack, what did they do? They flipped. Now all these brothers are talking about, you shouldn't talk about black women. Look, brothers, some of our sisters deserve our respect. And some of our diseases deserve our protection. But there's a group of black women out here who don't. There's a group of black women out here who make mistakes over and over again. There are black women out here that will criticize you because of what some other dude did or what they perceive you to do. But instead of y'all standing up and saying, you know what, I'm not going to sit here and condone and reward that behavior. This is why we have so many issues in our community. Now, there's some people out here. Over, over the course of, let me see, two, how long I've been doing these videos? About two years, now, almost two years now, have disagreed with me about the issues and why I commute this way. Whether it stem from, well, from racism, slavery, or the feminist movement, or the interference in the black home. People are always trying to find an excuse for that type of YouTube, tuber. excuse me, not just YouTube, but the uh, that type of black woman, excuse me. Just like there are women out here who defend no good men, men that they know are not providers or protectors, but users from the age of maybe 12, 14 to probably the age of 45. These women chase after those men 
But once they realize these men have not going to produce anything, then they come looking for guys our age or their age. And then they get mad at us because we don't want to play the game. And then they want to make us feel guilty if we decide we're going to look outside of the community or we're going to go after a certain type of woman. Now, that, there's some black women that get mad if you go after a certain black woman. Why she? What, which makes her think she's so better? Or oh, because she works a nine to five? Or because she got her own home? Or she got her own car? Or she's not asking for money? Hell, that's ideal for some men. I, I would love, I, I'd rather a woman come come uh, prepared with her own stuff. Because then, then if, if it don't work out, we don't need to be divvying up a bunch of shit. I think that women have a right to express themselves and I think they have a right to do what they want to do. But there's some things that women got to understand that men need to do. Men need to be the protect protectors and providers. They need to be able to talk to their sons. They need to be discipline their sons. They need to be to protect their daughters. But when you're constantly interfering in that, you're creating a situation where people become dependent on the wrong people. I've stated this in videos before. That white men have already had the opportunity to brag and show out and, and say, look how we do our women. Look how we, we protect our women. Look what we can buy for our women. And some of our sisters are envious of that. I've heard it multiple times from black women over the years. Why can't you be like that white guy? How many times have black men or black boys have heard that in a lifetime? Don't all y'all yell at the same time. But when we try to tell our sisters that, every, that you don't know what it's like to be a black man. You don't know that I could be a black woman. I said, we know. We watch. We sympathize. We want to protect y'all, but y'all don't give us the opportunity to. Y'all go let other dudes that y'all know damn well is not a, a, a protector or provider have y'all bodies, y'all minds, and y'all souls. And a lot of y'all are embarrassed by it. So what do y'all do? Y'all attack the brothers who've done nothing to you because you know that we're not going to put up a fight. Or not to fight in the way you think we're going to put it up. We'd rather just walk away and just and say, you know what, we're not, we're not compatible. But see, that's too much like right. Just like when some of these sisters were coming at me, taking shit I said out of the context or wasn't even paying attention. Or getting personal, calling me all kinds of names. Calling those people who subscribe to me all kinds of names. And never once did I get personal with them. YouTube allowed those videos to sit up. And I know there have been people that went to their channel and voted and flagged those, those channels. Some of the people I say, y'all don't do that. Let them have that. Let the people see the contrast between my videos and theirs. And and when and when people start to realize that those videos and those terms they were using wasn't me or wasn't the tone of my videos, they came over to me and that and that just made them mad. But then you had some brothers out here who were mad because I wasn't out here joining on the bandwagon attacking women just to be attacking them. But then I was warned by some brothers. They said, Harvey, you know that knight in shining armor thing you like to do? You're going to get tired of it. That armor's going to start to rust after a while. And now I'm seeing what they're saying. And I don't mean I've given up on black women, but I got to step back just a little bit now and let y'all see how it is. Y'all white saviors or those men of color who come from us but deny any part of us. Let's see how they treat you. You don't believe me? Ex Cali Berry. Was it worth going over to a white man? Ask all them black female stars or your black female friends or family members or co-workers. Was it worth it dating outside the community? Was it worth it, worth it forsaking that black man? There are a lot of good men out here. There are a lot of fathers out here. But see, the problem is y'all let some other group of people define you and your man. And unfortunately, we as black men have allowed it. And we should have put our foot down. But the way the law is worked, that if a black man even raises his voice and look at you cross-eyed, you're going to call the police on him. So now you didn't condition your sons, your boyfriends, your lovers, your fathers, your friends to, to, to be standoffish when it comes to dealing with you. But yet y'all want us to protect you and sacrifice for you. But yet, yet some of y'all have not sacrificed for us. I think about my sisters. My three sisters. The two adults, their lives are fucked up. Not because my mother and father didn't correct them or teach them. It's because they figured they're a female and they figured some dude was always going to take care of them. When they didn't work out, they depended on the government to take care of them. And guess what? That's going to end at some point. I got a younger sister. She won't listen. 
And I told my father, I said, Dad, you got you to gotta clamp down on him. But out of fear, out of fear because these little girls are quick to call law enforcement or yell and say somebody hit them or did something to them, he backs off to a degree. Now, I don't know if, if I ever would have children. I hope I do. hope I'm blessed to have children. But ain't no way in hell my son or my daughter is going to dictate the terms of my home. It just ain't going to happen. Because if, if as long as I do as do as I'm supposed to do as a parent, when they get 18, 19, they ready to go out in the world. I can be confident enough in saying that I did right by. Now I worry about my niece and my nephews because their mothers are stuck on stupid. Now people gonna say, man, you talk about your sister. Sister or not. You go out there mess with multiple dudes and having their babies and they not taking care of them. And you get mad at the men that warned you or you resentful or you honor those dudes. There's something wrong with you. I've had ex-girlfriends that cheated on me. Not because I cheated on them or I disrespected them. All because I treated them like adult. Treat them with respect. You don't love me because you don't call me a bitch. What? I supposed to call you a bitch? You don't love me because I don't. I, you don't hit me. I supposed to hit you. You don't love me because you you ain't question my every move. You're an adult. Why would you want somebody to question every move? If you say you're going out with your friends, you're going out with your friends. If you say you're going to the store, you're going to the store. Look, it don't take that much for a person to cheat on somebody, have sex with somebody. There have been people have gone to gas station, had sex in gas station bathrooms, or out in gas stations or malls. Hell, there have been people have gone in Home Depot and fucked. There have been people have gone into McDonald's bathrooms. There have been people that had sex in drive-thrus or fast food restaurants, parks, you name it. Me asking where you're going is not going to stop you from fucking somebody. You can go to work and still fuck with somebody. Now, I, I'm the kind of guy he is, I don't want to see it. Now, if you living with me and I walk into my home, you and that guy better jump the hell out the window. I'm just being honest with you. But if I walk up on the street, I'm just going to look at you and just shake my head, turn back around and say, you can have him. And that's what pisses y'all off when a black man don't want to play the game. Our people have been to too much shit to keep fighting each other, keep cooning in front of people. And I ain't forget about the brothers now. I've done videos calling us out. When a black man feels that he can't handle his business and he got to go run to a, a white man to, to back him up, you don't deserve to live. Yeah, I said it. You don't deserve to live. Because what you just did is gave your manhood away. So that means people should be able to do what the fuck they want to do to you. Think about it. I'm a black man. And I get into it with another brother. Now, if it's a criminal, yeah, I go to law enforcement. But if me and the brother having a, 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 a war of words, I'm not going to go down the street and tell my white neighbor, hey, man, the guy in the third house, he called me out my name. You should hate him, too. Oh, really? Okay, Harvey, let's go down together and let's go after him. Hey, hey, you. Did you just say something about Harvey, my good Negro friend? You shouldn't do that. Hey, Harvey, let's go and make his life a living hell. Let's talk about him. Let's mock him. Hey, Harvey, you know what? I don't like the way he looked. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to just hit him. Y'all think I'm exaggerating, but shit like that happens a lot. Then guess what? When that, when that white guy feel that he can do what he do to another brother, now he going to tell you, I ain't got the power. I just hit this nigga. I want to do it again. Hey, Harvey, how you doing? Come over here, man. Hey, how you do pow? Same thing with white women. But some of y'all don't want to see it. Some of y'all don't want to hear it. Y'all think that if y'all smile, y'all stay quiet and do what they say, that y'all going to be left alone. I keep warning y'all that there are people out here that want to see harm befall us. But instead of us sitting back talking to each other, instead of us learning to agree to disagree or just walking away, we just keep going on and on and on. Like I said, that one brother came to me earlier, wanted me to get into it with another YouTuber. And I have to remind that brother that he got into me for no reason. 
And I said, instead of me saying anything to this brother, I'm just not going to go to his channel. I'm just going to block him for making making videos or addressing me. And what was that? Sometime in the early part of this year, somebody came to me and said, hey, Harvey, why don't you um, communicate with this YouTuber? And I said, he knows why. Why, Harvey? I said, I'm not going to say it, but I just said, said we have a difference of opinion. And I left it at that. And and I noticed people kept going, well, Harvey said this. Harvey didn't say shit. And that's what, you know, very same YouTube, that's the ones that turned on me when that sister came in me out of pocket. We always got a group of people among us that's going to cut our throats. Each other, they're going to sit back laughing because they're so miserable. And a lot of it came from them being bullied or them being bullies all their life or them never putting them in their place. But see, y'all don't want a person to come to y'all with logic and talk to y'all with respect. Some of y'all wake up with hell in you. Some of y'all go to bed with hell in you. Some of you are just predisposed to be just evil, mean spirit. But you know what? Y'all have done me a favor. Y'all have proven me right. So brothers and sisters, go ahead. Make a fool of yourself. Because eventually they're going to come after you. And all the brothers and sisters that you help take down, whether it be on YouTube or in life in general, nobody's going to be there to support you. Think I'm exaggerating? Ask yourself. Why don't you get a, another black YouTuber channel taken down on video flat? But yet, if those videos upset you just by their words and your images out here on YouTube doesn't accept you, they tell you your priorities are, are twisted. There are black women out here shaking their ass with little boys and little girls can see. Last week, people put up a, vo a video with a little boy talking about booty pop. Dancing with half-naked women and simulating he had a penis. That he was shooting jizz all over that one woman. And it make it so bad the woman was, it, it, people identify her as white. Which she wasn't. She was a woman of color. But the fact remained, people got that wrong. What was the videos about us coming out talking about it? It was mostly black men talking about it. When Mrs. Obama was threatened by a D.C. cop. Where was the videos of those black women, those white saviors at? It was nowhere to be found. When that sister lied, and I've been waiting to do my video on it. I did a come to it, but actually do a full in-depth video on it. I've been waiting for black women to come out and say, sister, you lied and took a, a, a black man away from us. A potential leader, father. Now, he's still young, but still, that brother is scarred. I guarantee you that brother may be gun shy around black women. And I, if, Now, if he still mess around with black women after that, he's a strong brother. He's a forgiving man. A lot of brothers out here have told me, and some sisters have told me, that I need to stop trying to help our people. Stop trying to talk to them. But I'm going to tell you something. After having some near-death experiences, I said, I think God wants me to sit, stay here to help people. And seeing that our people need to help the most. It bothers me to see that as a group of black men and black women and children are hell-bent on destroying anything that we have. It's like y'all said, you know what? We like it better when they tell us when to sleep, when to eat, where to live, where to think, who to have sex with, who not to have sex with. Instead of y'all getting mad at them, y'all getting mad at the brothers and sisters who've done nothing to you. But so y'all, what do y'all do? Y'all go around YouTube looking for videos, half-ass reading, listening to videos, reading comments, or taking some generic topic, or saying, you know what, this person got this many subscribers. I don't like him. I don't like her. Or if you see other people were putting videos out there, I'm going to go after this person. This is what they do. This is what you do. Did you demand? Did you expect somebody to respect us when we don't respect each other? I can tell you where it started at. I can tell you what it's winning full swing. But that but you know what? It's like I'm getting tired of even talking about that part now. Here it is, our people are killing each other, our people are disrespecting each other, our people are dying in front of us by the hands of people outside. And what do we do? Instead of us coming together and saying united front, what do we do? When white people feel that a black person's getting something or about to be better do something uh, or get something better than them. What do they do? They join, they join forces, whether they like each other or not. Y'all forget doing an election campaign. All Fox News hated Hillary Clinton, and still do. But she was running against the black guy, and they was praising her. Bill Clinton was called out 
all kinds of things on Fox News. But he went on Fox News and did interviews. When Father Michael Flager called out Hillary Clinton mindset, white men and white women, whether they were Republican or Democrat, young old straight, and they got mad at him because he went against something that you don't supposed to do. You don't supposed to turn on a white person in public. You don't supposed to side with the black man or the black woman. You're not supposed to side with the black community. Here it is. We got men and women of color who have long disassociated themselves from us, but we're still talking about a damn coalition. But they bring the drugs and alcohol. They own the beauty supply shops, the cleaners, and the mom and pop stores. These jokers have started frying catfish and fried chicken, okra. Now they're doing barbecue. The very same people that come in our community was out there celebrating the murder of a brother that was helping other black people in, 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 in Libya. But they come in our community and we, and we grin with them. We're like, we don't know these motherfuckers poison us or not. Now, I'm not talking about all, but you have to start asking yourself those questions. Here it is, the gay community threw us under the bus. Because who, who's the most hated people on the planet? Black people. Who's the most hated on the planet? Black men. So let's say the black community is the most homophobic, and yet they don't live in our community. Our Jewish counterparts, they turn around and have done the same thing as us. And we still talk about turning the other cheek. How many black men and black women, especially black men, have turned the other cheek and have lost their lives? Dr. King, side of his face and neck was blown off by assassin's bullet. In Memphis, April 4th, 1968. Malcolm X was killed in the Audubon Ballroom in February of 1965. Marcus um, Garvey was sent away from America. Died. They wanted to get him out of the country so bad because he was inspiring black people to raise up, rise above it all. Mega Ever, a World War II veteran, was shot outside his home. His wife and children come out and see him take his last breath because all he wanted to do is see his people have the right to vote or be treated like human beings. Emmett Till, a 14-year-old baby, had a stuttering problem. In order to get the word out, it would come out in a whistle. And a white woman thought so much of her, her beauty and her place in the world, she told her, her husband and her brother-in-law, that this nigga boy came on to her, exaggerated. Emmett Till's family, to this day, some of them, he talking about he whistled. When his own mother said his, her son knew better, he didn't whistle. The people who helped kill that little boy, some of them are still alive. The FBI said they're going to close the cold, the, the cold case files on a civil rights murder. But I was just reading yesterday that they still looking at they trying to get this 97 year old Nazi. But see, we're so we're so worried about who's fucking who, what next music coming out, what somebody said on one of these YouTube videos. We don't see that we're being played. I remember telling brothers and sisters, y'all need to get involved in politics, not just federal or national. Excuse me, your local and state. Oh man, I ain't gonna vote. You one of them niggas that talk about voting. Oh, man, I can't listen to you using the white man's army. But you get up every day trying to get the white man's dollar. You see, some of y'all so smart, so pro-black, y'all, it hurts. But yet, y'all go out here on YouTube and brothers and sisters like myself is trying to get y'all to think. Y'all get mad at us. Oh, you some bougie. You one of them bourgeois niggas, are you? Because somebody put that in your head when you was a kid. How many of us heard when we was kids, he sound like a white boy. He sound like a white girl. And the white teacher just laughed. <laughs> where, 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 do you, where do you hang out over the weekend? Where do you live? I got to meet your mother and father. <laughs> then when they meet your mother and father, they, they get pissed off because they really want to see the mother. I've had teachers even say, oh, you don't need the husband to come up here. I remember my mother said, no, me and my husband both take care of our, our children. Any any issues I had or anything positive I did, my parents tried to be that in unison. But see, they don't want us talking. 
This is why our videos are getting flat. This is why y'all think these white men are coming to y'all defense. They're not coming to y'all defense. If they was coming to y'all defense, they would have been doing it. They had caught their white brethren. Here it is, Rush Limbaugh talking about black women like a dog. Where are those white men out there calling out Rush Limbaugh? Sarah Palin, Michelle Bachman. Where they at? Last week, the first lady was threatened. Where are they at? When that sister got raped last year by Dominique Strauss-Kahn, the New York press and the law enforcement threw her under the bus. Where was all them white women at? Where was Gloria Allred in the Met? But when Herman Cain was, when, when said that rumor has it he messed with somebody, then Gloria Allred went to that white woman here in Chicago. And then they came out that she had financial problems. They, didn't, they said, no, that shouldn't matter. Some of y'all, the stuff is right in front of y'all. Y'all don't want to see it because y'all have been conditioned to have a slave mind. Then we got brothers and sisters up there when we talk about Willie Lynch. Ain't no Willie Lynch. People prove ain't no Willie Lynch. Who? What people? Well, Dr. Such and Such is no Willie Lynch. Okay, let's say for shits and giggles that person is right. You mean to tell me those principles don't, don't, are not in place? You mean to tell me we're not programmed to go against each other, young, old, light, or dark? We're not programmed to be dismissive of each other, attack or disrespect each other? Here it is last year, I believe. I think it was last year. Mr. Farrakhan, was, or, it was, or it was either year, last year or the year before last. It was probably the year before last. He was scheduled to go to Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love. And he wanted to talk about the crime and how we can better our community and stuff. And this wasn't just him. There was other brothers and sisters. There were some people within the Jewish community said, you guys need to pick somebody else. Like, wait a minute. It's like we're little boys and little girls. You don't, have, you don't live in our community. You ain't doing shit in our community. But you telling us who we can speak to or who we, can, we should or we, who should we respect. You know what they did? They went after this black woman. I got to pull the information up. They threatened her. They told her, if you do this, you will not have any this and that. What did that sister do? She tucked tail. Did anybody in the black community call her out? Hell, nobody really knows about it. If they did, I'd probably be more aware of her name. But I got to go look it back up again. How many times have we seen sisters get on TV? Whoopi Goldberg and Sherry Shepard in the view in the morning. When they talk about men, they talk about black men. Well, men do this, they do that. <clears throat> Whoopi Goldberg defended Roman Polanski, a child rapist, a child molester. Mel Gibson, a man of women, call, 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 call black men apes and niggas. Barbara Walters basically checked her when she walked off the stage of Bill O'Reilly. When Jermaine Jackson came on his show, Barbara Walters and Joy Behar treated Jermaine Jackson like he did something. Man, in the family, been nothing but respect for the white folk. But that's what you get. Chopping your face up, trying to marry somebody lighter or mess somebody outside of the community. If Michael never fucking died, if Michael never had any issues, the Jackson family never came to Gary, Indiana. They didn't bury Michael and Gary. They didn't bury him in Illinois or any place like that. They buried him in California. Now, people will say, well, that's where his home was at. They buried all around those white folk. There were cemeteries that were dedicated to black people. See, this is the mindset that we have. We figure even in death. I hear black people talking about, well, they wouldn't even let us be buried in their cemeteries. Well, you have your own. I hear black people saying, why can't we have what they have? Because we don't value what we have. We sit back and we jaw jack, we disrespect each other, then expect people to respect us. And some people feel, you know what, if I go out there and say this about this black man, they're going to leave me alone. I was watching um, MSNBC this weekend. And they was talking about Mitt Romney and NWCP. And people kept bringing up Sister Soldier. And I'm sitting there saying, y'all just mentioned this poor sister name. Her name has been became a buzzword, been maligned. It's a catchphrase. Sister soldier moment. And you got black people ain't correcting not one person. This black man said, well, you know, nobody would agree with a sister soldier and her imagery and stuff. This is a black man. Baby boomer. And I'm sitting there saying, you fucking coon, you. Y'all sit back here. We all got behind the Obamas and Mr. Obama. In the last three years, we've been virtually ignored. But guess what? We've been attacked. They're going after our rights to vote. They're mocking us. 
They want. They don't even want us to protect ourselves. Law by citizens. They don't want. They they keep blaming us for the economy. We didn't fuck this economy up. How many brothers and sisters on Wall Street? Instead of renegotiating our mortgages and shit, what do they do? They rather let the house go in foreclosure. And y'all know the house. If you don't run water, the pipes start to bust. If you don't walk on the floors, the floors start to rot. Because you got to have movement. You got to have heat. You got to have people moving. They got to interact. Then the house stop falling apart. Instead of going after the bank saying, so you guys didn't want to adjust, they adjust and work with them where they can give you some type of payment. That's too much like right. They probably would have made more money if they kept let people stay in their homes. But they let the buildings and homes fall in disrepair. So what happened now? The cities and got slick. Let's tear them down. If we tear these homes down, or there's no place to move in, they move into overcrowded center where they got to go out into the undesirable suburban areas. Now we can turn around and get developers to come back and develop it. And we'll never get back in. But see, y'all don't see it. I'm, and I, I've tried to warn you. Other people try to warn you. But y'all go on YouTube and want to go to the booty shaking videos, the thug videos, the black women calling black men out of their names, black men calling black women out of their names, little black kids being taught how to be rude and arrogant and mean. But those of us who see it, trying to help y'all, trying to get y'all to open your eyes, we're under attack. Y'all helping people flag our videos, but here it is. They got videos of people being shot, people masturbating, people engaging, about to engage in sex with animals on here. Oh, y'all need to go out here and y'all need to really discover YouTube. Then y'all sit here and go get people outside the community to come jump in. Then if people don't do that, y'all want to go get other brothers and sisters. Y'all create channels saying, well, this person said this about you. Really? They did? Why? Instead of going to that person's channel or looking to see if this person actually said these things. Like I said this weekend, people say, Harvey, you need to take sides. Really? If you don't say nothing, that means you for Tommy. If you don't say nothing, you for this sister. No. It's just that I'm, I'm, I'm old enough to know better. The shit, that shit you do in grammar school and high school, and even then, that was tired. We talk about bullying, but yet, every day, we bully people all around the country, all around the world. Y'all better sit back and look in the mirror. Y'all better start asking yourself, am I right? Am I wrong? Am I a good person or a bad person? Have I joined the enemy that I talk about or say it exists? These are things y'all need to be asking yourself, brothers and sisters, for too late. 